There you go. I think I'm in the shot now. So, hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the next level race in ERS1. Uh, it's a suede seat and it looks rather nice. So, what I'll do, I'll put the box down to the side, I'll lift everything out and then we will continue. Okay, so it's out of the box now. Uh, so, the reason that I am um, going to be using this seat is, if you can see behind me, um, um, some of you might know that I use a Sparko R333 in my main rig, and that's been my main go-to seat for uh, quite a long time now. Um, but my, my other rig, the Next Level Racing GT Track, had this, the, the standard seat that came with it. And it flexes so much that you've probably seen in one of my streams when I've been using this rig that I've got it pressed against a wall so it doesn't move. Um, so, yeah, it only locks on one side, so it twists, it flexes, it's pretty bad. And makes a lot of noise as well. Um, <clears throat> but it's not so easy to mount any uh, seat to the GT track. Uh, it's got a slightly different uh, track width. And so really the easiest way, if you don't want to start drilling and modifying the rig, is to get another one of their seats. Um, so that's what we have here, the ERS-1. So it's the it's a breathable suede um, that they are saying on their website. And it certainly feels really nice, really plush. And uh, yeah, that's, I, it, it looks good. Now, the important thing is that it locks on both sides. So this is the shape of it and everything. It's almost identical, from what I can tell, to the GT track seat, but hopefully much better made. Um, so the retail price is three hundred and ninety-nine pounds, which puts it slightly about sixty pounds more than the Sparkle R Triple Three. Um, so let's give it a good workout and see see what's what. So in the box, um, you've got some instructions. You got the the side caps for when you've bolted the back piece on. Uh, let's have a look. So this, so this has been made for their elite next level racing's uh, elite range of cockpits, and uh, you know supports the GT track. So there we go. So they have the side caps. Uh, two baggies. Now these little metal dished sort of cups, uh, they're where you bolt the uh, the seat runners uh, or the frame part to the seat runners. Um, so there's, there's four of them. <coughs> and then we've got some little baggy of uh, screws, bolts, allen keys. Okay, let's have a look at the quick check of the instructions. You have to give it to Next Level Race, and they always give you nice looking instructions. Um, so yeah, so that, it's a nice touch being able to just look through instructions instead of going online to look for a PDF file. So it shows you how to how to bolt it to the different rigs. So there's the instructions for the the GT track. And it just bolts down the same way, <coughs> excuse me, as the standard seat. <coughs> um, so, yeah. Now, <coughs> let's just... Uh, where's the frame? So this is the frame. These are the runners off the, <coughs> off the other seat. So I need to just detach these and then... This sort of H-ish pattern frame, this is what actually bolts the seat to the rig. <coughs> okay, let's, uh, let's put this back piece on. Back piece is nice and light, bottom part's nice and heavy. So it's got an air of sturdiness to it. Pretty much lined up. Ok. 
go. There's one in, I'll just put one each side for now just to get just to get a look at it. Alright, so that's it. That's just uh, just what it looks like. I know it's hard to get a look with the angle that I've uh, got there, but yeah, looks really nice. The uh, the stitching's really well done. And it's got next level racing on the back, and then it's got this uh, slight bulge here that um, uh, just like the Sparco's got. So your your legs sit. I, I love it because your legs just sit in this kind of a channel so it looks good hopefully it'll, it'll last as well because I'm hoping it's going to be as well built as the Sparco it's a similar way it is it is pretty heavy compared to compared to the the original I mean this doesn't really have much weight to it which is probably part of the reason why you, you get that flex um, so yeah Excellent stuff. What I'll do now is I'm going to go and bolt it to the rig. So I'll see you there. Okay. <clears throat> well, it took a lot of time to get the seat in because getting to them two rear bolts. Remember when I first built this rig, it was extremely hard to get them bolts to to go in because it's a tiny little gap. But we got there in the end, and I have to say it, it looks stunning in the cockpit. It makes it look makes it look uh, much better than with the old seat. Um, yeah, so it's. Just the right size for me. It just, uh, I've got, I'm pretty wide. It just about touches my sides and uh, the edges of my legs just nice. The, f the, f the bottom piece seems a little longer and it looked it when I put them next to each other. So when your legs are stretched out, a little bit more of your leg is uh, touching the seat. Which is nice, makes it very comfortable. The actual bottom piece itself is a lot firmer, and I feel like it supports me uh, on the old seat. It literally, as soon as you sat on it, you felt like you bottomed it out on something, something hard. It wasn't very nice. Uh, so test for flex. There's a tiny, tiny bit of movement on the back. I don't know how well you can see that, but it is only tiny, and I am pressing the brake harder than normal to to see how it is. So the back's not quite as reduced as the Sparco. I'd still give um, the thumbs up a little more to the Sparco for that because it doesn't move at all and i've had the sparko for over a year and it's still the same it's just it's rigid it's uh, excellent uh but this is the next best one that i've seen in terms of flex out of the ones that i've tried 
yeah, it's just a just a tiny bit. I can easily put up with that. Um, yeah, comfort is just excellent. This suede material is really nice, and it feels much more premium than next level racing seats of old um, that I've tried. Yeah, absolutely lovely. Now, the question is, is it worth the £399? Not sure. Because I've only just sat in it, I'll let time dictate that. So over the coming weeks, I'll be using this uh, a lot. And if it doesn't flex anymore, if it stays exactly as it is now, then, uh, yeah, definitely a thumbs up. So, yeah, I'd say there. The base of the Sparco is a tiny bit more comfortable because it feels more like a memory foam that contours to you. You feel like you're sitting in it as opposed to on it, and it just it feels like it molds to your shape. Um, but again, this is this is excellent. This feels. Uh, I mean, I've got an Audi TT, and um, the firmness of all the foam feel quite similar. The, or the the density, uh, you know, of the of all the padding, and the side bolsters feel nice the way they just about touch I me. Mean, this this really is the perfect size for me, and it's so nice having a seat that doesn't bend like you know six inches or so backwards. So I'm not I don't have to have this rig against the wall now, so I'm able to get in it a lot easier. Oh yeah, if any any changes develop, I'll uh, I'll, I'll I'll do an update. Yeah, no, no noise, no creaking. Um, any noise you might hear is just the front part of the rig. Just, uh, yeah, this rig's getting old now, so uh, there's a few little clunks <laughs> that happen here and there when you're breaking. But uh, yeah, really, good, really nice, really nice seat. Very, very plush. It feels very premium. And finally, they locked both sides. That is so important. I think G GT Omega should really start doing that because, like the XLRS, um, I, I really liked that seat. But again, because it only locked on one side, it only took a few weeks for it to start to twist that little bit. Once I, if you've got very firm pedals that you're pressing hard, then uh, if it doesn't lock on both sides, then you know, every seat I've tried has started to twist um, fairly quickly. Uh, yeah, definitely so far, the ERS1 from Next Level Racing, I'd give a thumbs up. And hopefully it'll stay just like this um, for a long time. And if anything goes wrong, as always, I'll let you know. Um, but yeah, this is much better, much more comfortable than the old seat. So. That's about it. I can't think of anything else to talk about with it. Um, as always, I'll keep you updated. And thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.